Summer 2015 was marked by a unique astronomical event, which occurs approximately once in the history of astronomy. The New Horizons station is the first man-made object to reach Pluto. Till now, an incredibly distant and barely seen by telescope ice dwarf remained an almost complete mystery to scientists. Let's find out what the apparatus saw and whether it managed to expand our scientific horizons. 10 years ago, people did not really know that Pluto is actually the ninth planet of our solar system. Well, to be exact, an X ninth planet, since after downgrading its status, it became a trans-Neptune dwarf planet. Exactly 100 years before the arrival of the device, American astronomers obtained the first images of Pluto. However, back in 1915, they did not realize that they had made a discovery. Only in February 1930, the young astronomer Clyde Tombaugh managed to discover the planet by comparing the photographs. Unfortunately, even after inventing the Hubble, Pluto still looked like a disk with slurred yellow, orange, and black stains. Looking at that picture, it was truly difficult to understand what it was. NASA decided to rectify the situation by sending the New Horizons spacecraft to the very edge of the solar system. The mission was rather daring. The New Horizons had to cover 4.8 billion kilometers. That was the distance that one but the Voyagers have overcome so far. On January 19, 2006, after a series of incidents, including even a hurricane, the mission started. The heaviest version of the Atlas V launch vehicle was used, and in just 80 seconds, the New Horizons engine accelerated to 9.9 .9 miles per second relative to the Earth becoming the first spacecraft to develop the third space velocity immediately from Earth's orbit. Pioneers and voyagers reached the same only after the gravitational maneuver at Jupiter. Obviously, the apparatus departed to Pluto fully stuffed. Despite its modest size, New Horizons is literally crammed with equipment, including such scientific tools as spectrometers, cameras, a telescope, as well as a cosmic dust collector designed by students. In addition, it contains human artifacts, a capsule with some ashes of the discoverer Clyde Tombaugh, two coins, two U.S. flags, a postal stamp as well as a CD, containing the names of people who participated in NASA's Send Your Name to Pluto initiative. The device was moving really fast, making an average of 1.6 million kilometers per day. Just a year later, in February 2007, the New Horizons flew past Jupiter at a distance of only 2.3 million kilometers, thus obtaining 4 kilometers per second free due to gravitational maneuver and reducing the path to Pluto by three years. That meeting did not pass unnoticed for science. Scientific instruments were tested in the real scenario of a celestial body passage and also collected interesting data, as after the end of the Galileo mission in 2003, no one else visited the Jupiter neighborhood, while the latest the New Horizons allowed obtained the detailed pictures of the giant, as well as its companion Io. After Jupiter, the New Horizons flew for years in sleep mode, waking up only once a year in order to check the equipment. The probe crossed the orbit of Saturn in June 2008 and the orbit of Uranus in March 2011. Despite the fact that some instruments started operating earlier, the probe completely woke up on December 6, 2014. Starting from January, we get ever closer photographs of Pluto and its satellites. In May 2015, resolution of Pluto's images from the apparatus exceeded the resolution of the best images of the object obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope. That was Pluto we have never seen before. The largest relief on the surface of Pluto is the Heart, a nitrogen glacier with an area of approximately 1 million square kilometers. There are no craters at all. Therefore, this is a very fresh formation. There are no craters on the slopes of ice volcanoes either which means they are either quite recent or still active. The surface of Pluto, like the surface of the Earth, is actively evolving. It turned out Pluto was in vain considered as a dead piece of ice and frozen gases. Its activity changed our ideas on how small planets are arranged. Tectonics are observed across the entire surface of Pluto. Icy mountain ranges and ridges, smooth plains of recently frozen gases and liquids, and cryovolcanoes. The composition of the surface of Pluto is dominated by water and nitrogen ices. Besides, the ice crust of Pluto can bury a whole liquid ocean. Pluto's atmosphere, just like the Earth's one, is mainly composed of nitrogen. However, it is much colder and very rarefied, same as 80 kilometers above the Earth's surface. There are also winds, fog, and clouds on Pluto. 
atmospheric phenomena that are usually observed on the planets of the Earth group. The atmosphere of Pluto gradually disappears into space. The brownish-red polar cap of Charon, a satellite of Pluto, is a macromolecule spot from the Pluto's outflowing atmosphere. A mechanism of the outflow of part of the atmosphere was known from before. The same process occurred with the Earth billions of years ago. It is believed that releasing the excess nitrogen contributed to the development of life on our planet. The study of Pluto once again confirmed this. By the way, it is quite interesting that the mass ratio of two bodies is 1 to 8. This is a very large mass of the satellite relative to the mass of the mother planet. Because of this, the Pluto-Charon pair is called the double planetary system. Charon itself, which was considered to be an impersonal ball of ice, turned out to be a proper world with rocks, troughs, and deep crevices, with some of them being much deeper than the Grand Canyon. Thanks to the data on Pluto, we learn that small planets can have a complex structure and remain active even after 4 billion years after formation. Scientists didn't expect that at all. The finding is of interest also due to the fact that such formations were found only on the Earth, and their study will provide a much deeper understanding of the geological processes taking place in the solar system. After Pluto, the station keeps moving away from the Sun at a speed of about 15 kilometers per second. Scientists decided to send the device further to one of the Kuiper Belt asteroids, MU69, which it encountered in January 2019. The mission will end in 2026, when the device will go wandering to the outskirts of the solar system after running out of the isotope source.